Good evening everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about this catastrophe with Will Smith and Chris Rock. And what I want to say to them is, stop playing in my face. Stop insulting my intelligence. There are people who are so gung-ho about this being real. What I want you all to think about is, what are these people's profession? Actors, right? So you're trying to tell me after, what was it, 2018, I think it was, was when Will Smith and his wife was spearheading, um, what do you call it, boycotting the Oscars because black people weren't getting their fair share of awards and so on, right? Will Smith himself never got an Academy Award. This is his first time. So you're telling me that at a prestigious event as this, this is the time Fresh Prince gonna go there and act black amongst a bunch of well-to-do, um, you know, prestigious people of the opposite race, which you, we already have a problem getting off heat indoors. You're telling me the night that he's collecting his first Oscar, he don't have the composure to contain himself until they get backstage. This is what you're telling me. For all my critical thinkers, let me know if I'm crazy. This is what they're trying to sell us. Once again, black people is being used as entertainment. And once again, everybody's falling for it. And I want to know what is going on while everybody's distracted by this. This is what I really want to know. Because you can't tell me a bunch of executives didn't get together and say, hear what, people boycotted us. I haven't watched Oscars in years, okay? And I'm sure I'm not the only black person, for example. So, what better way to get everybody back now? Because next year, please God, we're going to want to watch. Well, and not me. People are going to want to watch to see what's next. Because this is the spiciest Oscar we've ever seen in the history of the Oscars, right? A prestigious award such as this, an event such as this of su such epic proportions, you're telling me Will Smith, who all the time we've known him, has carried himself in such a manner, you know, he's a, of a certain caliber. He is not, no insult to 50 Cent, I love 50 Cent, I'm just using this as an example. He's not 50 Cent who was raised in the hood and get nine bullets and whatever, okay? He's not like the baby, he's not, you understand the point I'm trying to make here? Will Smith, who carries himself as somebody who, who went like to a Catholic school or private school or whatever, he might not have, but he carries himself in such a manner as long as we've known him. He's never been in any scandal except for, you know, the August Alcina situation with the entanglement, right? So you're telling me he didn't punch August in the face. You're telling me this. He didn't punch his wife in the face. I'm not advocating violence or woman abuse, right? Domestic violence. I'm not advocating that. But what I'm saying to you is there has been other instances in his life that I'm sure was more pressing than this situation. Um, Chris Rock is an actor slash comedian. It was a joke. I don't see what was about it was that serious that he had to slap him. And if you watch a body language even... If you're coming towards me from the minute you raise your hand, I'm flinching and moving backwards. It's, it's, it's automatic. It's reflex. And for us, some of us who've gotten abused, not abused, but beaten as children, which some people look at it as abuse, but it was the norm. You get out of pocket. You get lashed with, you know, hit with a belt, a switch. You pick your own switch. You get hit with a shoe, anything that was close. Because of those situations, anytime you're coming towards me and you raise your hand or something, or you move too swift for me, I'm flinching. Chris Rock stood up there, his hand behind his back. He didn't flinch. He didn't do nothing. And after it, it looked like they, before that, they looked like they were smiling. Then you look over, you see Jada face, she rolled her eye. Where did Will Smith go from zero to a hundred that quick? He went from smiling, both of them were smiling, then she rolled her eye, then he looked over at her, and then all of a sudden, keep my wife's name out. He, he didn't call her a slut, he didn't insult her, 
he made a joke in reference to her show because her head is cut down low. I don't see the big my maybe made a joke be a little distasteful, maybe. But I've heard comedians tell people worse than that. So every time a comedian says something, people run up to them and slap them. What would that be? And here's what's my bigger question. An event as such, right, would have security. Not, not no one or two security. And most security in those events are people who were from the armed forces one way or the other. Retired cops, um, you know, retired army personnel or so on. Secret service. Secret service type of personnel. I personally shock. I can run up in there without somebody stopping me at the door running up on me. I don't care how fast it happened. After it happened, did you see any security rush to Will Smith? He would have been escorted out of there. Faster than you could say Jack Spratt could eat no fat. He would have been escorted out of there. You all can't sell me on this. For the people who believe this and have all the energy running back and forth, on a social media about this more power to you because I can't do it because I'm not buying it. And what is my concern right now is we're in a pandemic. We have people still suffering who lost their jobs. They, we have so much people that are homeless. Some people just got a job and trying to get back on their feet. We have the war between Ukraine and Russia, right? We have so many things going on. We have gas prices, right? We have people, as I say, lose their homes. People trying to get back a place to live. There are people in shelters. There's so many things going on. And I think this is a distraction that we don't need and everybody's focused on it. And if the intent of this was to stir up some drama to get people talking, it served its purpose. They're trending. And now one of my, one of my um, thought processes is that in the entanglement situation, whether that's true or not, because we don't know, that and all could be staged, in the entanglement situation, everybody looked at Will Smith as a punk. Your wife cheated on you, which I'm pretty sure he cheated on her multiple times through the marriage. He'd been seen traveling all over with different women. But we will leave that alone because you're all not ready for that. So even though a lot of times men cheat on women, if a woman cheats back on that same man, he wants to you know, do whatever to her. So my point is, even if he never cheated on her before and she cheated on him and it caused such a scandal, he looked like a punk, and everybody talked about it, like, oh, his wife did this to him, he's still sitting down next to her, you know, looking like a punk. So what other way also to redeem his manhood, so to speak, and look like the tough guy? That's one. Two, in all the movies Will Smith has acted in, right? And trust me, I like Will Smith, I like Jada, I like Chris Rock. So I, I'm not picking sides here, I'm saying my observation. In every movie Will Smith has ever acted in, he's acted as a good guy. So he's basically typecasted as the good guy. So what better way also to get out of that box, right? And spread his wings and get other roles where, you know, from good guy to talk overnight. He went from somebody who came himself. Now I am, I'll be the first to tell you, anybody can snap at any time if pushed to their limit, but I don't see nothing in this situation to be pushed to his limit unless he, had 10 things built up in him from before, and this was the last joy in the bucket, but this wasn't that serious in my opinion. But regardless whether it was serious or not, if I look at the body language before the incident, after the incident, and the fact that Will Smith got to go back and sit down and collect an award after this, it makes no sense to me. It doesn't add up. I'm not the best mathematician in the world. As a matter of fact, I failed math. I could count money with my eyes closed, but I failed maths in the big sense of like algebra and all these things used to throw me for a loop. So I never really gave math much effort, but I'm not dumb. And simple math is telling me this is not adding up. One and one is still two anywhere in the world. It's not adding up to me. Okay? And for the people who think this makes sense, I don't know what to say to you. You're entitled to your opinion, and this is my channel, and I'm entitled to mine, and I'm telling you. They need to stop playing in my face and stop playing in people's face. Because what they wanted to achieve with this, this was, this was well orchestrated. This was planned ahead of time. I don't think both of them alone have control over this situation to come up with this on their own. And most importantly, as I said, in any other scenario, Will Smith would have been escorted out of there. Because look at this. You boycotted the Oscar because we wasn't getting treated fairly. So now you're actually getting one. You're actually getting your first one. And this is when you choose to act black and ghetto. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. This is the one time in your life when you would have composed yourself until after the event. 
because it was such a epic moment. So y'all please miss me with the BS. And for those who believe it, I don't know what to say to you, but I personally not buying what they're selling. Okay. I don't know if you all remember. Remember those long time movies where you would see, you know, no offense to white people, but I'm stating facts as I recall them. You would see when they had slaves, you would see a bunch of white people sitting around tables, drinking, partying, and they have two slaves beating each other up to a pulp in a ring. And they're clapping and they're drinking and they're betting on it. Kind of like a, a wrestling match. So ain't nobody could tell me that a bunch of executives didn't sit around a table and say, listen to this, let's spice the Oscars up. We've lost a lot of uh, views in the past how much years because let's, let's, let's be real. It's all about the Benjamins, right? Money makes the world go round. Most people, most of business people, everything is about money. It's about commercials being placed on, on, on um, events. It's about making money. It's about um, ratings and so on. So let's spice this up. Chris, you're going to do such and such. Will, you're going to do such and such. And when he hits you, now in any, in any scenario, a man slap a next man in his, like anybody slap me in my face. I've been slapped before. Don't ask me why and how. We're not going to get into that today. I've been slapped before and other things. And at no point I got slapped and just stood there and didn't hold my face and be in shock. Like, I can't be. He was still kind of laughing like, Will Smith slapped the shit out of me or whatever. And I'm like, and wait, I know what a lot of you are going to say. Oh, he probably was like, so shocked by it. Watch it over. Watch it over. Watch all the different angles of it. Watch how they look like they were whispering to each other at a certain point. Don't play in my face. That's all I, 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 I will reiterate that fact. Don't play in my face. Okay? And unless some charges are pressed, which I doubt is going to happen... Because this was seen worldwide. So it's easy to press charges. You have the footage. There will be no charges. Because this was well orchestrated. And as usual, the people behind it is going to take their self out and say, Oh, we, we're going to, you know, we're going to deal with it accordingly. or whatever. They have to say something. But I'm pretty sure everybody was in on this. It, 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 it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And as I remind everybody, remember what their jobs are. That's the reason why. Will Smith could get an award in the first place, an Academy Award in the first place, right? Because he's a great actor. Let's keep that in mind. That's their job. That's why we love movies, to, to watch movies, and sometimes we forget it's a movie. And when you see the person, whether it's online or whatever, or people see them in the street, the people looking at them with the dirty looks based on a movie they're acting, because the role was so amazing that they, people are convinced that the person is a real villain or a real angel or whatever. So let's not forget that. And while all this is going on, there's stuff going on in the real world. There's stuff going on that really need our attention. And this is to the forefront. And instead of us just celebrating the fact that he got an award after however many decades, we're here sitting down talking about a slap. It's dumb. It's dumb to me. It makes no sense. This shouldn't be the forefront. And besides that, we have a war going on. We don't we have food prices. You know, we have food shortage. We have gas prices on a high. You know, we have a lot of homeless people. And and all this attention has been given to this. And it's trending. And as I say, I'm no hater. I'm glad he got an award. Finally. And I love all the people involved. But it doesn't negate, you know, the fact. That all this effort and energy is put into this and is trending all over the place. And this is all people are talking about. When have so much bigger, more pressing issues. But I'll, you know, I digress. This is all I got to say about this. And I hope when everybody finds out the truth, they're okay and they understand. Subscribe, like, share. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching. See you in another video. Smooches.